Well, it obviously means the world to me. Uh, <coughs> being dropped a couple months ago, it's been an interesting year for me. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I've been through quite a bit and uh, learned a lot as well. So, you know, I believe everything happens for a reason. And, uh, yeah, it was just uh, really, it was a special moment, like I've said, to, to obviously take a team home, especially uh, being there at the end, not only getting the hundreds. So, for me, uh, I take a lot of confidence from that. And, uh, yeah, it was really, really special. Sorry. I hope so. Um, yeah, I obviously enjoy tonight, but uh, see how I feel tomorrow. Um, my groin was a little bit sore out in the middle there. Uh, it got a little bit better as the innings went on, but uh, yeah, I mean, I. I don't know what's going on, so we'll have to see tomorrow. It was. Uh, I was. I was trying to uh, not really show my nerves uh, in the beginning because I couldn't really get going. I kept hitting the fielders, and yeah, I knew we obviously had to keep the run the run rate going. Um, so I just try to obviously take it slowly in the beginning uh, and just soak it up, really. Um, and uh, I think I hit a boundary to get going after the, about 15, 16 balls and, and from there then you know things started coming a little bit easier but uh, yeah I mean it was really 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 enjoyable to, to obviously take it home with uh, with Andile and Dwayne um, and JP like I said in the post match. When did you start to think you could actually do it and am I right that as you got closer you got it by your injury? Yeah um, it's a difficult one to answer that, but uh, yeah, there's obviously the, the game ebbs and flows, but I always know once we get below 100, um, it's a big milestone that, so uh, obviously chasing 350, 70, or whatever it is, uh, to get within 100, um, we, I, I knew we, if we just carried on and batted 50 overs, we would, we would have won the game. That's what I told Dwayne, that's what I told Andile, we just need to bat 50 overs. Um, so that was a plan. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously there's a lot of decision making out there that has to take place. But I think uh, when it gets down to 100. David, you're always special to score at the international. You're not part of this franchise anymore, but you grew up playing cricket. Does that make it more special? It does. Uh, yeah, I've got a lot of uh, special mo uh, memories here. Um, you know, I've, I've had some really nice knocks on this on this ground and I really enjoy it. Uh, the, the pitch was really, really nice tonight. It was coming on beautifully and under the lights. And yeah, I mean, uh, obviously moving franchises um, was a big decision, but uh, I'm actually really looking forward to what lies ahead. And, you know, it's uh, I think it can only improve my cricket. And, you know, like I said, I've really enjoyed batting here and I think I'll continue to, to do that. Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a difficult question to answer. I I, I love to go on feel out in the middle. Um, my gut feel is a is a big big thing, um, and it's you know it's it's such a, a f fine line. I mean, you could you could obviously back yourself and and miss it and get caught on long on or car corner and you know and be quite lose by sixty runs. So it's it's just the small margins that that go your way. Um, in, in innings is like that um, and you've got to just try and obviously assess which bowler you're going to take down um, as you go along and, and yeah just just stay in the moment uh, you, you can't get too far ahead of yourself as well so it was a big total and yeah it was really nice to I mean I've, I've batted I've, I've finished off games in, in the past um, and I think experience also plays a big part in something like that um, knowing that if the, the rate goes a little bit higher than expected, we, we actually can take it down because we had big hitters still to come. Andile can clear the boundary, as you saw. Uh, Dwayne did really well. So we can get that 15, 20 runs and over, maybe two, two, three of those overs as well. So you got to back that you can still do that, but you can't really do that too early. Uh, and then the game is you lose by 70 runs. So you got to try and take it as deep as possible. I don't know if that makes sense. Sorry? Yeah, 
Yeah, uh, he started a little bit slowly and he was really nervous. And I just said to him, look, just obviously breathe, just count to three and, you know, let's just bat here because, like I said earlier, we, we bat 50 overs, we'll win the game. Because as he got going, you know, he hits the ball really, really hard. Uh, he can hit boundaries, beat the inner, inner gaps, it's four, um, and he can clear the rope as well. So he's, he's a huge talent and, uh, you know, like Faf said, he's got a lot to learn, but he's, he really showed tonight that he, he has something special. Maybe uh, to a certain extent, but I think Australian team will always, you know, be be in your face. Uh, they always have a presence about them. Um, like Faf says, you know, they're the number one team in the world, so you know they have they have that presence. And you know, it's it is probably their second string bowling attack, but they they're still decent enough to um, to be able to do a job. And they you know, it was it was just a really good wicket as well. I mean, we didn't bowl like Faf says, maybe 40 runs too many, but it was still a good wicket. So. You know, it was a tough, tough day out for the bowlers. Okay, Chris, sorry, it's going to be the last time. It does seem that you like playing Australia because the last time we, last time that we played Australia, there was a T20 and you played a match for the Queens there, and you averaged close to 60 against them. So you have never been playing like that. What is it about Australia? I don't know, to be honest. Uh, obviously, being a youngster, always watching Australia early hours of the of the morning, uh, the Ashes and those big series. I always, um, my dad always used to tell me, you know, it's it would always be a special moment if you ever got a chance to play against Australia because they would always be the, the strongest team. Um, you know, they they're a huge cricketing nation, and to do well against them is always sort of a judge where you are. Um, so I've always wanted to do well against them, um, knowing that they're the strongest, but. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's just uh, it's panned out that way. Okay. Um, the atmosphere turned a bit uh, testy after the uh, first four run near there. They obviously went up a very big appeal. That got turned up. Quite tough for the, for the yeah, uh, he he came across to me and uh, he was convinced he hit his pad. So I, I mean. He had a great stand, and the umpire didn't give him out. So you know, I think uh, in his mind he hit the pad, which which was, I mean, no bad no better walks if you think you hit your pad. So yeah, it was a bit of a tusky a tusky moment, but uh, fortunately we got through it, and you know he did really well.